Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file. We started up in a prior presentation. Note that we're in the accounting view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top, switch the view down below. Let's open up a few tabs, duplicating some tabs to put reports in. Right click the tab up top to duplicate it. Right click the duplicate a tab to duplicate again. Back to the tab to the middle. Reports on the left hand side. We're looking for the balance sheet, the balance sheet report. And I'm going to date range that from 0101 and let's say uh, 25 to 06325. All we have in there thus far is going to be the amount that we put the deposit into the checking account, the other side in the billings. There's nothing on the profit and loss, but let's verify that by going to the reports the profit and loss closing up the boogie and changing the range 010125 to 06325 and run it nothing nothing there thus far all right let's go back to the first tab now we're going to be i'm going to put this in an excel worksheet as well because i think sometimes to see the transparent format of excel is useful so i'm going to build an excel worksheet and if you don't want to build an excel worksheet you don't have to uh, we'll, we can put it into QuickBooks, but I just want to show you what I'm doing from the ground up so that if you if you wanted to follow along with it, uh, you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like a journal entry, which is more transparent way to see something than the database, pro database program in QuickBooks. And then I'll make a little trial balance, which will allow us to see what's going on uh, on one page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a skinny column over here. I'm going to make it the same, the same skinniness by selecting column C, home tab, format painter, gonna make a skinny column over here. I'm gonna put our transactions in a journal entry format here. So I'm gonna say the date will be in this column, account that will be affected. And then I'm gonna say debit, debit. I'm gonna put debit and then credit on the second line, credit. And the credits I'm gonna put in as negative numbers if you're not familiar with debits and credits that's okay because the concept will still be there and we can introduce some debits and credits i'm going to pull this down i'm going to cut it i'm going to cut and then put it right here so it lines up to the bottom i'm going to make this a header format for me and that usually means i'm going to select the whole thing go to the first tab font i'm going to make it letters white and the background black and then typically I'll center it. And this second one, I'm gonna make my credits be negative because negative numbers are gonna be red. I'm gonna make it red because <laughs> negative numbers are gonna be red. So the credits will be red and bracketed. So I'm gonna put the credits and the, the debits and the credits in the same column and represent that they're gonna be credits. I'm gonna make this wider by the credits being negative numbers. So that might be new to some people. Sometimes that bothers people but it's actually the most efficient way to put it into like an Excel sheet, which is quite useful. So then I'm gonna say uh, the next, let's put, let's build our trial balance. I'm gonna, let's make another skinny. So I'm gonna take this skinny and make a skinny J and I'm gonna put the accounts. Let's do the same, the same format. I'm gonna say accounts and then I'll say the entries entries and then i'm going to say uh, i'm sorry this is going to be the accounts these are going to be the beginning trial balance and then these are going to be the entries or let's say journal journal entries and then the ending trial balance i'm abbreviating balance something like that and then I'm gonna center these again and make them my headers, black and white, center them. And then this one I'm gonna make black and white and I won't center it, I'll keep that as it. Sometimes I don't center this one too, I'll make that uncentered. And so there we, so there we have that. And then the accounts, I'm just gonna put the normal accounts that are gonna be affected. So we have the checking account, checking that we're gonna deal with accounts accounts receivable we're going to be dealing with a work in progress account we're going to have a billings account 
we're gonna have a retained earnings or equity account let's just call it equity account retained earnings something like that and then depends if you're sole proprietorship partnership corporation but revenue or income cost of goods let's say goods sold and let's say equity account let's be kind of consistent here with my capitalization and cost of goods sold and then i'm going to have the total total debits and say credits bracketed with the credits making it red again to show that the credits are going to be negative and there we have it so the beginning balances are just going to be zeros because we're just going to start from a blank slate so there's nothing in our worksheet yet so i'll just sum it up probably don't even need this column because of that but i think it's still useful to have this format and then the middle column that's going to be our journal entries i'm going to make that blue that's what i usually do when we're doing the data input so i'm going to right click here i'm going to go to the the bucket and i'm going to call that blue and then i need to put some def defini definition so i like to go to the format and then add the borders with the all borders and then the ending balance is going to be the beginning balance plus the journal entries which i can sum up equals the sum of these two you'll see how this works once we post those first two journal entries we already did so then i'm going to copy that down i'm going to put my cursor on this fill handle right here drag it on down and that just does the same formula all the way down and then i want to sum it up at the bottom so i'm going to grab this formula grab the fill handle drag it to the right which will sum up each column summing up each column and then i'm going to underline here so i'm going to go to the home tab font group underline there we have it and then i'm going to have a net income calculation at the bottom net income i like to differentiate the income statement from the balance sheet components which is right there there's the defining account in the middle of our trial balance i'm going to go to the home tab font group and make that dark blue and uh and white just to show that's the middle point this is the income statement this is our balance sheet accounts and then i'll sum up the income statement which will be equals the sum of the revenue minus the expenses the expenses the revenue will be credits and the expenses will be uncredits so it'll subtract them by formula 